Shalom and welcome to Shar Google. If I don't have the book, can you give me the name? Shar Hagilgulim, the book of reincarnation. Bobby, Aries all. Ask your friend Eric. I believe he should have a good copy or can let uh, lead you to a good copy. And please give him my warmest regards. He said he's going to be coming to class with you during the holidays. I expect a Norwegian attendance. Is that clear? A full Norwegian attendance. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is where we're at. I think it is. At the very least, we'll be doing double the work. But that's not a problem, is it, Jock, to do double the work? We believe in working hard. Let's go. They heat. What time is it? 9.56. So 10 o'clock. Around 10.45. Around 10.40. Stop me at 10.40. That's in about uh, 45 minutes, all right? Then we'll do a little transition. Vehine behis chalkis prati meilu kishel koyech al kalmas la alis kulam al sefer vahamaskil yavi miyagish miyats mulishara chaluki and pratim. What does that mean, Jacques? Vehine behis chalkis prati meilu. Which world and which level will the Zadi Kim merit in this world? I'm not sure. All right. I don't feel like doing witchcraft, so we got to look it up, boys. We got to look it up. It's either that or witchcraft. What's it going to be? Witchcraft or look it up? Call moose. <sighs> Just tired. Look it up. That's, Jack, that should be our new, our new motto. L-I-U. Eli Lou, go to the Lou. Look it up. I like that. Cal Moose, 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 Cal Moose. Out of breath. Cal Moose, Cal Moose. Read or a pen. There you have it, Jack. It's a reed or a pen. So here, we when we divide up all these distinctions, it shall koyach the power of the pen. I think, uh, uh, one second, come uh, One second. So there's a word I'm thinking of. Kalmus. I think it's something else also. Uh, uh, Kolas. That's what I was thinking of. Kolas. The call out. Okay. Klisa. Okay. My bad. Kalmus. Like the power of the pen of writing to go up. To bring all of them up, ah, on a book. There you go. All right, so the power to write to go up all of them on a book. A masculine, an intelligent one. Will understand. Viyakish me'atzmo. Viyakish. What is it? Viyakish. 
this has been a day of looking words up, I'll tell you that, this whole week. Ya quiche. Ya quiche. Ya quiche. Ya quiche. Yak. Ish. Let's try. Yakash. Uh -huh. Clap. Catching a trap. To be trapped. Does that make sense, Jack? The intelligent understands and, and, and traps me, me Atsmo. Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah, Kish, like entraps himself to the rest of the parts and details. How it, I'm, however, the cloud is key can feel ever much the portion of the repair and purity from the action of his nefesh of a mean. Thus, he's able to merit and grasp the soul. Neshama min neshamis reshine him from the original souls. Ad tachlis ha'ilyin shmakulam. Until the highest, even in our generation, this is able to be done. Yeni meskakos pratim elu. Keshel koyach ha'kalmas la'alas kulam al sefer. I think that's a nice way. Hazek keshel. Yeah. What is that? Daf Dalid Ahmed Aleph. Yeah, I think this is a kind of a, a, a fancy way of saying which portion did Sadiqim take in this world? It's just a very fancy way of saying it. Hine, be his chalkis pratim elu, kishel koyacha kalmus. to portion the these details of the Kuyach the pen, the writing, to go up, to bring all of them up, to bring them up on a safer. What I'm, what I'm getting from this is a certain part of you is written. And the more, and the, intele in, in the intellectual will understand the rest of the story of you. However, the call is kifi erach tikum v'zachuch ma'isa nefesh shel adam kach tuchal l'zchus l'hasi neshom neshom sri shem atav v'zal yamet I feel with the word. Right? There's a story. I, I get it. There, there's, a, there's a little you, Jacques. A little you. Type one. Little you. And little you could potentially, even is potentially, let's just call it Abraham, okay? You have an Abraham quality, type one. But you only know what's written about you. There's a little guy in South Africa, he's a nice guy, and he never, he, we never checked out anything more than that. Nice little guy in Cape Town. And that's written. Ask anybody about Jock. They'll say, nice guy. But you're not going to get anything more out of people about, you, about, about that guy, right? Nice guy. Hey, you know Jock? Oh, yeah, nice guy. Doesn't say much, but he's a nice guy. Right, Jock? Now, the, the intelligent version of Jock, he will understand by himself, like that thing, that nice guy thing, becomes self-aware to the rest of the missing details. Jacques, what do we call that in Torah terms? It starts with an M as in Mary. What's that word? Let's hear it. Big, loud, booming. Let's hear it. Starts with an M as in Mary. Ma, 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 ma. What is it? Hello, 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 hello. 
Mazel, 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 type one, type one. Jacques gets into his Mazel. He's, un he's understanding there's more to the story of Jacques. But even if Jacques understands his potential, I'm able to nourish the world with my, my chesed. Right, Jacques? Even still, it's only according to the degree that you have fixed your missing part of your story and purified through the action of the nefesh of man. See, Jacques, if you think giving me a free shrimp dinner is a kind deed, we're not going to get very far. Even though you want to give the world to the world, right? But you're off skew. Your nefesh is warped. If you don't have a clean, clear nefesh to do the action, then you will remain in potential. That's like saying the Vilna Gon believes that the world wants to have Torah, but we don't teach Torah to Goyim. Type 1. So it's a, it's a dream, it's a nice idea, but if you're off skew and you're nefesh, and these are all goyim, it doesn't really serve anything well that you wish that mankind perceive God when you contradict yourself saying that mankind is a monkey. So that means you have a lack of clarity in your soul. You would have to, let's say, get gear, so to speak. Then give the Torah to mankind. One or two. Then that that rabbi would be able to live out the potential of of greatness in him, thereby becoming existentially greater than little Rabbi Moshe, who simply wanted to do something big but could never even get out on, on the first base. And then if he does clear the nefesh, no one said you're going to become the Vilnagon. You can just perceive what it is. So now you start to receive the missing information according to your actions of purity, and you can actually achieve the greatest of great, even today. How do you guys like that so far? but you know what? We're going to have a problem, Jacques. What if we reincarnate the nefesh in the ruach of a man? And they're fixed up. So, Jacques, you repaired your nefesh in ruach, and the neshama is not able yet to receive them because it is not yet repaired. You got this? You come once, you got your ruach. You come, or your nefesh. Come twice, you got your ruach. 
you come three times a lady and your neshama is not ready yet Ah, that's a kasha, Jacques. You would have said that your neshama couldn't get it done till the next time around. But if they come in while you're alive, in the year neshumi, then it happens to them, as we said, it enters with them in the secret of Ebor, whichever, Nefesh or Ruach or Neshama. How does it enter you, Jacques? How does it enter you? You have a Neshama, and you're trying to reconnect with your fixed up Nefesh in Ruach, and you get an Ebor because you did it. How does it enter you, Jacques? Through a Tzadik. Through a tzaddik, it's an ebor of your soul in the guise of Abraham or whatever tzaddik, and that's called souls nishmasim. You should understand in Kabbalah, Jacques. This is I'm I'm learning these days a major premise. You ready for this? You ready for this, Lars? This is a major breakthrough. Kabbalah, as I've taught, has two schools. The Arizal Vilna Gon and the Baal Shem Tov, type one. Now, there's two kinds of Kabbalah. Again, Av of Sag of Ma is the Achrayim of Ban, which is the front side, Panim B'Panim of, ben, of, of, of Man Ban, type one. Type one, everybody. Then there's another version of Kabbalah. Um, Bob came back in a reincarnation as Abraham, and just as Abraham did chesed, Bob did chesed. If that's Kabbalah, and it's told in that way, type one. Type one. So we're seeing there's two schools here at all times. You understand that? There's like the Av of Sag, of Ma, of Ban, and this, and Achrayim. And then there's Bob saw God. Bob had a, a, a Gilgal of Abraham and saw God, whatever you want to say, right? So what it is, is that there's something in the world called a Jacques, type one. And the Jacques, he fixed his nefesh in his Ruach, and now he's in the Shema, and he merited his nefesh in his Ruach, and it came in through an ebor, okay? Type one. Now there's two kinds of reincarnation. I'm gonna go on a little side tangent here. Reincarnation is called this. Jacques Nefesh of Ruach of Chaya was the the, the, the refined spark of Moshe Rabbeinu from the left shoulder of Cain and Abel, type one. And there's another kind of Gilgul. It says, once upon a time, Jacques did a kind deed. That kind deed was just like Abraham did. Jacques is now a reincarnation of Abraham. Type 1. Do you see the, the Vilna Gon Bo Shem Tov dichotomy? One is Av of Sag of Ma of Ban. And then when Jacques did something very Abrahamic, and Jacques is now Abraham. So the question always becomes, how do we resolve these schools and keep it real. Jacques is not Abraham, but is Jacques also to say, is Jacques Mav Bon of Achrayim of Sag of, ba, of Bon of Atik? Right? They're both a little bit fantastic, aren't they, Jacques? So we want to always marry the schools of the Gra and the Baal Shem Tov. Here is how you do it. Jacques came once as an Ephish, twice as a Ruach, three times a lady. Just sorry, kidding about that, Jock. But now you're in a Shama, 
and you're you don't need to die, thank God. And it's coming to you in an ebor, your nefesh and ruach, and it's going to become a part of your soul. But God makes reality bend to Torah. So God, in order for Jacques to merit this, because Jacques is a very kind man, Jacques has to make a reincarnation of Abraham. Right? Jacques got to do where Abraham laughed at his wife. Jacques has reverence for his wife. Type one. Type three ones for that, Jacques. And God says and looks at Jacques, Jacques, you just repaired Abraham. You are a reincarnation of Abraham. Jacques, God also told you, I'm going to give you back your nefesh and ruach into your neshama. And I can't just do it all a Rizal style of Av of Sag of Ma. So I'm going to manipulate your soul into this package that we're going to call it Abrahamic. We're going to basically bend your soul to be like a clone of Abraham. And now your soul is going to enter you with Abraham the righteous in this generation. What I just explained is called tikkun. It, it brought a lot of concepts of tohu, of kind of big, bulky, terse concepts, and made it a nice mohin, a godlute kind of thing. Jock, do you understand what I just told you of how you could fit this model? And it, it does. It, it, it oscillates between Bolshem Tov Kabbalah and Gra Arizal Kabbalah. And there's no contradiction. They're both one at the same time. Do you or do you not understand what I just said? All right, here we go again. Pay attention. Are you paying attention? One or two? Jacques, did you repair your nefesh? Quick answers here. Let's go. Did you repair your ruach? Are you now in a shama? And you're ready for your nefesh and your ruach. God doesn't just say, here, Jacques, here's your nefesh and your ruach. So, Jacques, are you a kind man? Do you do Abrahamic things? One day, Jacques, didn't you not laugh at your wife? Remember that one day that you did not laugh at your wife? Remember that? Type one. And God said, hey, Jacques did a, a tikkun for Abraham, type one. God says, I'm going to make Jacques a reincarnation of Abraham, type one. Abraham just entered Jacques' soul. Jacques is now a full reincarnation of Abraham. And what are the guts of Abraham? How did God make Abraham? Yes, while you're living. It's called an ebor impregnation because you repaired Abraham while you were living and God therefore said here's your nefesh in your ruach we're going to manipulate that into what's called a new Abraham Jacques is now Abraham Jacques is Jacques and it's not a contradiction it's a very fantastic thing but do you see how both schools are married into one concept God's got to give you your soul back. God calls your actions Abrahamic. God then takes your soul and makes it basically Abrahamic, and you now live Abrahamic. But would you ever know? Yeah, you wouldn't, Jack. You unless you really understood your mazel. If you really looked at your mazel, you would say, "Man, I'm doing." Eleazar things all day long. And there's all these Abrahams in my life. You can figure it out if you meditate on it. Because you learn the Torah. The Torah is the book of this. So you would think, which mitzvahs are you doing? Who are you doing a tikkun on? You know, uh, why am I not into nefesh stuff? Why, you know what I'm saying? You, you, remember, this is the, you're asking an Arizal question. You did not ask a uh, Baal Shem Tov question. You're basically saying, if I am in, if I am now Abraham, how do I know the Av of Sag of Ma of Ban to know that equals Abraham? Correct? 
The answer is don't split the schools. They're one school. The Vilna Gon and Bol Shem Tov are one school. There's always the, the, the side of it that you say, I am the Abraham, and there's the side of it you say, I am the Nefesh Ruach Neshama. It's just that, that God turns your soul into a biblical character. If you think about it, it's not that far-fetched, is it? Because the Torah is the book of life. Why, why is it so hard to realize, ah, I didn't laugh at my wife, therefore that is a tikkun of Abraham. Yichap? Now, does that mean you are the Abraham? No, but who cares? If you were to project outward, you could be as great as Abraham. That's what he's saying. The other reason why you're missing, remember, the story is written down. You're just not meriting the full Abraham. The potential for Abraham is in you. But you're not studying enough. You're not meriting enough to live it out. You hop? It's like if you have sports genetics, you are an athlete. But if you don't cultivate and refine, you will not, you will not become a Hall of Fame member. But you could have. You absolutely could have. Right? You could play the guitar for the time you were five years old, Jock, but you never took lessons. You always remained an amateur. But you didn't realize that the way God made your hands, you had a gift that only Jimi Hendrix had. You could have played guitar better than anybody, but you didn't refine it. Or, Jacques, you had a great guitar playing ability. But you only wanted to play locally at home for your family and friends. And they said, Jacques, you're so good. You said, yeah, but who has the time for this Narishkeit? Remember that, Jacques? And they said, but Jacques, we think you have a real gift. And you said, maybe, maybe. You see what I'm saying? It remained a potential. You didn't bring it into the actual. Now do you understand how this works? You identify your coordinate, and you you choose to refine. Now, if this case were you, then you would receive your soul, and it would come in the package of one of the earlier tzaddikim. Maybe you are Moses. Maybe you are Abraham. Not to say a literal reincarnation I was there on the mountain with Moses. It's the same Indian. You understand? If, if Reuben gets a drum kit and starts pounding on it, I would say you are a heavy metal musician. Does that mean he is literally from uh, the, the band Metallica? No. It just means he is a, an, an authentic clone, so to speak. Right? You can become Abrahamic. You can become Mosaic. You can become uh, whatever whatever character in the Bible that you are. But there's a fine line between I am Moses incarnate as opposed to, uh, then his name would be, <laughs> that's very funny, it's correct. Uh, there's a big difference between Moses incarnate and Moses incarnated in me. See a difference? You, you never are going to say, I am such and such incarnate. That implies that you merited the revelation without working on it. And that is impossible. Only until you worked on it and became on the level of Moses could you then say, I am Moses. But God told us there will never be another Moses ever again. So that is pretty problematic. But you can have the soul of Moses incarnate into you, to which all the Kabbalah teaches any Torah scholar that makes a Kiddush, it was Moses incarnating in them. Isn't that a fantastic concept? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't do anything, and I became the best ever. <laughs> You know, I am uh, the, the lead singer of a, of a great band, and I've never sung a song in my life. Really? I found Gare in the Torah, and I can't even read Hebrew. Did you know that? Just like my critics say, they, Rabbi Katz cannot read Hebrew. And I say, you're right, I can't. And I still learn the Torah. 
Right, that's like uh, Muhammad and the angel Gabriel. I went into a cave, illiterate, and I came out knowing everything. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You have so you know to take our good friend Jesus, right? If Jesus is going to become God, we'll take it to the ultimate mushal, right? Could could Jesus be God? Well, if he worked hard enough and refined himself into nothing, technically yes, but that means. He would have to get himself out of creation, which is an absolute impossibility. And I was saying that there's, it is, that's why God says he is holy, because he is not in this world as on a fundamental level. So if you were to reincarnate yourself into God, you would have to elevate into the, into the light itself, out of the simsum, and then out of light. It's not possible. On on any level of of anything, we already know that that you refining into Moses is not possible. The best you can hope for is the refining yourself. Um, the most simple reason is you are not motivated to be God. I mean, that's the simple simplest answer. Jacques, would you like to be me? Could you be me? Can you just like change your life and be me? Why not? Because you have no interest to be me. I have no interest to be you. God created us. Therefore, we are man, and we, are int- we, we, we have natural interests. You can't go against your interest. So to, to reincarnate yourself out of your interest is impossible. The only, the only entity interested in being God is God. Nothing wants to be God other than God. That is how God created the universe. God created aspects to God in the ten spherot. You are just an emanation from that. Thank you, Jacques. So it, it's it's ridiculous to make bogus claims. You are you know to re, to to get the levels revealed. You have to refine and work on it which means you are dedicated to it. You cannot just say, I would love to be uh, 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 the best soccer player in the world. I am now, therefore, the greatest soccer player in the world. Did you know that? You you can play this game with anything. I want to be God. Therefore, I am God. And this is what we learned in Samson. So, So the story of Samson is if you say you're God then how are you in a body? And he, and he says, well, I was born of the virgin birth. Samson says, no, nope, my story already proved that. There's no such thing as the virgin birth. Because the spiritual kingdom, how do we say this in Samson class? The spiritual kingdom does not manifest in physicality. It's like, it's like, um, What's the name of that the, the transgender um, the, the 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 athlete? What's what's the what's the name again? Bruce Jenner, right? Bruce Jenner says he's female, only he doesn't do female things. You see my point? He doesn't do female things. Females do certain things, and yet he says I am female. I mean, this is a perfect example. Bruce Jenner is claiming to be a woman without having worked hard at it and refined himself to do it, and claiming things about women that women don't do. Uh, Converts are the same thing. I am Jewish now overnight, and I am now suddenly more Jewish without working and refining than all the Jews themselves. I do things more Jewish than Jews. Do you see the problem with this? Jesus, is, this, is, this is the idolatry of, of Jesus. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's Erevrav thinking. It's capturing holiness without working on it. So therefore, bogus claims are idolatrous. And it, it prevents one from, from making a bogus claim about from the truth. Since I'm a, a reincarnation of Moses, I am Moses. False claim. False claim. But you can have the Tzaddik Moses incarnating into your soul composed from parts of your soul. 
You understand this? It's a fascinating concept. So you are not the actual Moses because Moses is made up from your soul. But yet it's, it's, a, it's a fractal lower level, but yet as authentic in the state of Tikkun as any Moses would be. Right? For, for example, of Abraham, any man cannot laugh at his wife. Therefore, they can become an, a, a Tikkun Gilgal of Abraham. But it, it was made from your level of soul. Um, let's pretend that Van Gogh's artistry tools were special tools, okay? In order to make a Van Gogh painting, you have to have his tools from Antarctica, type one. But if I drew a Van Gogh with crayons, and I would became a professional artist with crayons. Could I make a Van Gogh painting from crayons and, 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 and still basically capture the flavor of a Van Gogh painting? The answer is yes, I can. But I'm not Van Gogh. I'm not Van Gogh, but it's a Van Gogh painting. I'll even give you a better muscle, Jacques. Salvador Dali. He used, to, he used to go out to expensive, lavish dinners. And he would pay for the dinner with a check. And then he would draw a picture on the back of the check so that the store owner would not cash the check. This is a great muscle, isn't it? So a real Salvador Dali picture has paints and this and that. The store owner has a check with a doodle of a Salvador Dali painting. So you could argue Salvador Dali, the restaurant client, is not really Salvador Dali, is he? We call him a customer. When he's in his studio, he's called an artist. So now, if you had the lesser version of Dolly incarnate in you, and you had a studio, you would be the same level as Dolly writing on a check. You would never really get to the masterpiece unless you purified and worked on it. You see how the muscle works? It's not a perfect muscle, but I think you get the point. Or, you know, here, I'll even, I'll even emphasize it one more way. Dolly was drunk at the dinner when he drew on the check. <laughs> right? So it's like an altered, an altered state as opposed to the sublime state. But yet it's still the same entity. You know, you hear what I'm saying. You hear what I'm saying. Another way of saying it is, uh, I don't know, just making up much at this point. You know, meeting Michael Jordan when he was 25 would be different than meeting Michael Jordan when he's 85, right? When he's 85, it's not exactly the, the legend as when he was 25. So there's, there's the sub, sublime quality and less sublime quality, but it's still the same material entity. The quality is your soul fuels it. Or you know what? I'll see another muscle here. This is a great muscle. Let, let, here we go. Let's say you have a sports car. And, uh, and this is not exactly a perfect muscle. I'm making, the, I'm making up science here, but let's pretend it's right. You have a sports car. And let's say there's um, a lesser octane and a, and a performance octane. Or no, you know what? I'm going to make a better muscle. Let's say you have sublime computer programming. And it takes a master computer to fully run the programming. I have a little rinky-dink computer. Therefore, I don't maximize the programming. There's your muscle, Jacques. There's your muscle. There's super programming. And... If you have a great computer, you run the software well. If you have a dodgy computer, you don't run it well. 
So you have a great program in dodgy hardware. You can purify your hardware according to your software. But if you think that because you have a great computer system and that makes you qualified to dunk a basketball without working hard at it and they're totally unrelated, you just want to be it, then that's that's uh, then that's that's um that's insanity, right? We are all dodgy biblical characters. When when we've earned the right to be even a dodgy biblical character, and some biblical characters will never happen again, like Moses. But we know that the aspect re is retained. There's a big difference between the original and the aspect. I think it's a nice concept. I like this concept a lot because it allows man to be great and it keeps it from being a mythology and an ego thing at the same time. And that's how you marry the schools of the Baal Shem Tov and the Gra. Right? The school of the Baal Shem Tov says, uh, I, I have the soul of Moses, therefore I'm Moses. The school of the Arizal says, what is the Av of Sag of Ma? And it's made of your soul, so you're not Moses. It's, it's not only okay to be dodgy, you're expected to be dodgy. Moses and, Aaron, and these guys had their time. Um, one day someone's going to say, I am a Lars incarnate. Is it okay that I'm a dodgy Lars? You understand? <laughs> We're not trying to mimic them. They are extending or emanating into our world. The further we go from their time period, the more fractal it becomes, and that's the society we live in. We're not trying to become. It might not be in your interest to be the full Abraham. According to your soul. That's right. You're refining yourself. Um, if you, if I gave you great computer software, does that mean you have to get a great computer? I mean, you might not even need it. You don't need the great computer. You need the, a software just to run your, your computer, but you don't have the needs that Abraham needed or the computer needs. Because if you did, you would refine yourself to that level. I right? remember God runs the show with divine providence. You will refine according to your interests. Your interest is not to be not dodgy. And where you are not dodgy is maybe where Abraham was dodgy. And that's how you merited to do it. Think about that, right? Abraham laughs his wife. You don't laugh at your wife. You do a repair on Abraham. Maybe you're more connected to the soul of the Mashiach than Abraham, but yet you receive a portion of Abraham. You understand? When you marry the two schools of Kabbalah together, it produces a wonderful result. You have a high soul, and you stay low at the same time. Everybody has that plight. It's the plight of mankind. Um, Jacques, if you can remind me that we start on the bottom pair. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make a little note. I think I'll know what it means. And if not, then I don't know. Okay. Well, now let's go to Mazel class. Ready? A little bit of Mazel. The dodge. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, we go. I forget where we are, Zuck. Man, I really. I know. Havak, let me see where we are. Let me see if this is it. I don't remember. Shnei sugi darki kabbalas hachachma achas mekoyech hamazel shanoyle la adam aos mazel. Well, me kabbal asmo kabbal. You know what? If 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 this is review, then we're gonna just make it review. Let's go. Havaksha, I mean hakadosh baruch hu. You request from the Abishter 
that he should bless you, grace you with das. Chaninas das. He has bestowed grace upon you, das. Because you asked for it, Jacques. He iker kol tzrachim shel ha'adam olam azeh. Ha iker kol tzrachim. Wow, this is my favorite. This really is my favorite word of all time. If anybody ever asks what is Rabbi Katz's favorite word of all time, it is iker. I want you to pay attention. And listen to this. It, he iker kol tzrachim shel ha'adam olam azeh. Now, do we say? He Iker, and Iker is defined as all of the needs of a man in this world. I think that's a good definition. Or Iker Kul, the Iker called Kul, Iker of everything, this thing called everything. That's the, what is everything? It's the needs of a man in this world. Iker Kul Atsrichim. Or better yet, das to great. Wow, this is fantastic. Das is the ichor of all things of a man in this world. Or you can say, gracing man with das is the ichor of all things of a man in this world. Or God giving you das is the ichor of all things of a man in this world. Or requesting from God to grace upon you, Das, is the ichor of all needs of a man in this world. Jacques, I think this is a divine statement. This should be, if one of you guys could post this on Facebook, I would be appreciative. Request for requesting, the one who requests from God to be graced with Dot. This is the ichor of all of, of, of all needs of a man in this world. Can someone please post that? That is a just an amazing statement. You guys, you, you, all right, here let's let's uh, let's keep it going. Ready? The one who requests from God. Give me a one or two whenever uh, you want to tell me when you're ready to type that. The one who requests from God. To grace him with dot. Awareness, knowledge. How do you want to say it? To grace him. With awareness, dot, knowledge. Is the ichor of all needs. Oh, no, no, no. Of everything a man needs in this world. Is the ichor. Everything a man needs in this world. That is a divine statement right there. The one who requests from God to grace him with dot is the ichor of everything a man. That's it. Jock, way to go. Post that all around. That That is really great stuff right there. Is that not shocked? Do you realize what that says? Man, Lars, do you see this? How do you like that statement right there? Whoever said that in, in English before? How do you like that? The one who requests from God to grace him with God is the ichor of everything a man needs in this world. Man, 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 man. That is a statement. You guys like that? That is something. Wow. And therefore, he is he who never lahaskil with us. And therefore, he 
should be created to intellectualize and to know Hashem Yisbarach. And even that he increases in yeshiva. So you're going to have this intellect and a capacity to know God. And you're going to use that capacity to sit and grow in yeshiva. You need to request Rachamim from who that Chachma is his. You need to request mercy of he who that Chachma is his. Ah. Uh, uh. So even when you grow wise, Solomon said, wisdom is far from me. You have to constantly ask God for wisdom because wisdom is his. God gives wisdom to the sages in order that you should ask for wisdom from them. And when, when you get wisdom from the sages, that's how you repair your soul, Jacques, and the wisdom comes in you in the form of your soul and the soul of Moses because the, 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 the sage was carrying the Torah of Moses into the sage as sent by God. It's one big angelic experience that you internalize through your soul like mana or food. And it says in the Gemara in Nida what a man should do and become wise. So in in the in the prayer of Shmona Esrei, we say to God that you should that you should give us that. This is what that means. That you're asking for wisdom in the Shmona Esrei. Konein la Adam Das. Yeah. Zero you need Tyra. This only comes from Tyra. Ella da ha below ha lo sagi kemosha rabinida. The ashi rab of Yeshiva at Sri Gamki, the Vagish Rachim, and Misha Chokhamashalo. I know the Zeo Iker of Chokhman Yisrael. Kishmakirim Shakoim is Beirach. Wow. This is great. You have to always ask for wisdom. And that this is the Iker wisdom of Israel. Israel has, well, Haina de Zehu Iker Chochma de Israel. The Iker of wisdom is Israel. The Iker of the, the Iker wisdom is from Israel. Iker. Is the wisdom of Israel. What is an Iker? The wisdom of Israel. See how you can always read Iker any there's no there's no shortage of ways you can read the word Iker. You understand that? You can say Iker Chachma the Israel, Iker Chachma the Israel, Iker Chachma the Israel. And, and, and that's why Iker is such a fantastic thing. It really that's one way of saying it. Iker is the wisdom of Israel, or the Iker wisdom. Is of Israel, or in or, or Iker, uh, Iker, whatever those those, those ways. Now, ah, uh, or Iker Chachmas the Israel, the Iker wisdom of Israel is to recognize 
that everything is from God. Wisdom is used to recognize everything is from God. Therefore, if, if you if you have wisdom that you that is not recognizable that it came to you from God, it is not wisdom. It's not an ichor, and it's not real. Uh, it's real wisdom. Is this not amazing stuff? And also, the wisdom is from God, as we said. That God gives wisdom to the wise, and v'chakim to become wise is the language of recognition, as we say in the Talmud. Chakim uh, le leploni, like to recognize ploni. Joseph was the essence of this. So again, uh, what wise is to rec- is, is 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 recognition. Wisdom is recognition. Recognition is wisdom. If wisdom is the ichor of Israel, then what is the ichor? The power of vision, recognition. And whoever recognizes God. This is the tachlis of wisdom. Allah Hashem is very nice in chachma. God gave you wisdom, right? So Leimar Yedia Echla Kiro, He gave you insight of how to recognize Him. In the beginning of recognition is prayer. Kiyayde Tefila. Through prayer, you will be zoche purified, merit. The wisdom of the Torah in Shlemus. That's why the first thing is we say La Adam La Adam Das. You're basically praying for all of this in the first real prayer of the Shmona Esra. Thank you for listening. Be well. Well, today we only discovered what wisdom was. Not doing too bad. All right. See so you guys. I'm going to turn the microphone off here, or the recording off. And that was class of Shargul Golan.